All right, first up, we got M80 Paul, 308. Oh man, wow. So it stopped the round, that's a good thing. But it definitely almost tore out the back portion. Mm -hmm. Which is the Kevlar. Alright, well let's set it up again really quick. We've got still a pretty decent part of the panel here. We'll shoot it with the M855 and make sure it stops it. But it did stop M80. Cool. Alright, next up we've got M855. This is a uh, SS109 rather. This is a steel tip penetrator. Let's see if we can stop this guy. We're at 25 yards. Direct hit. All right, here we are. We got a little bit of deformation on the back. Not quite as big as the 308, obviously. It's not as powerful. We had a direct hit. Looks like about four inches apart from the 308 hit. The plate seems to have maybe cracked in the middle, but it did stop the M855 round at 25 yards. Good. All right, next up we've got an AK. We've already shot it with a 308. We've already shot it with an AR-15 with uh, SS-109 M855 steel tip. Uh, this is just a Golden Tiger 762 by 39, 124 grain. We're gonna take a quick shot. Bottom corner. After we rack it, of course. Mister, it's on camera. Looks like the Let's go check it out. All right, we hit it a little lower than I wanted. It's only about two inches apart from the 308 round, so if it did go through, it wouldn't be the plate's fault, it'd be my fault, but let's check it out. All right, we've got no penetration. We've got a little more deformation. Uh, you can see the plate's already splitting right here with 308 hit it. Uh, the fibers have already started splintering and uh, we've got some separation from the ceramic and the Kevlar but that did still stop the AK round even though it was a little closer to the 308 impact than I wanted. So that's uh, pretty impressive. I did it one more time with the uh, M855 SS109 steel tip. Firing. Looks like a hit. Let's go check it. Alright, this is the fourth shot, and we'll place it right over here, about three inches away from the AK hit, four inches away from the 308 hit, which seems to be pretty empty now. You can stick your whole finger in there. I think the uh, ceramic is pretty much gone. And uh, right there was the first M855 hit. Let's check it out. We got some deformation again, but again, no pass through. So even though the plate's pretty much disintegrating inside, you know, the ceramic is all but crumbled on, on this part, and the Kevlar is separating quite a bit now. Still stopped the second M855 round. Fish shot. One more time with 308. All right, whenever you're ready. Ready. Direct hit. All right, so we got it a little close to that M855 round. We were Trying to hit in the corner, but that's all right. Let's see what happened. All right, well, still no, still pass, no pass through. It definitely left a huge bulge and pulled that Kevlar back again from the uh, ceramic front. And uh, this plate has had a lot done to it, but it's still holding up. So that's one more time with M855 on the corner. You want it on the bottom left, right? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and try it. Looks like a hit.
pretty much hit it exactly on that previous 308 spot and we're kind of worried that it passed through because we were trying to hit the bottom corner here where there's no hits. As you can see it's pretty much not even holding together anymore but we still don't have a pass through. So this plate's still, still trucking along. Alright so at this point we've hit it about six times. Uh, we haven't had a pass through yet. We're going to do one more shot with 308. Uh, the bottom right corner there's a little empty space and we'll see if it can hold up. At this point Pretty much all of the uh, ceramic is crumbled behind the Kevlar, but, or in front of the Kevlar, but it's still been stopping the round, so let's see if it stops this guy too. Alright, well that sent it flying. Alright, it looks like we might... See all the bullet fragmentations that fell out of it. Yeah, we might have finally had a pass through. We hit right here. This is the first 308, second 308, third 308, so right here there's pretty much no ceramic left let's see what we got on the back actually it doesn't look like it passed through it probably separated a little and and might have deflected out but as far as making it through it did not make it through the back side as you can see this plate is pretty much at this point being held together by threads the front and back but it actually looks to have stopped that last 308 that is actually very impressive Alright, so at this point the plate's already exceeded its expectations. We're just going to blast it for the hell of it. Those all look to be hits. Finally got some pass-throughs there on that run. Uh, it's to be expected, like I said, we've already pretty much crumbled all of the uh, ceramic out of the plate. You can see there's pieces all around it. There's nothing left of it inside. Uh, at this point, you wouldn't expect a plate carrier to survive anyways. You can see here, there's a lot of empty places where the ceramic used to be. So likely the Kevlar wouldn't be able to stop those M855 rounds on their own, but that's okay. Because like I said, we've this is probably the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th time we've shot it. And they're all pretty much, the shots seem to be pretty close to each other. And a NIJ rating, I think, is supposed to be three inches apart from each shot. So, uh, at this point, pretty impressive plate. I would feel confident wearing this, knowing that it can stop M855, 308, and definitely multi-round capable.